November 22nd, 1963, President John F. Kennedy was making his way down the streets of Dallas. The atmosphere there was very happy, festive, you know, people were excited to come see the president. Photographer Bob Jackson was assigned to cover the president's arrival and his speech. He was riding in the seventh car behind the president when the fatal shots were fired. We heard a shot, definitely a rifle shot to me, and then two more shots closer together. Jackson says he looked up to where he heard the shots coming from, the book depository directly in front of him. And there's his rifle resting on the ledge and then almost immediately he drew it in. Even if my camera had, had film in it, I, I really don't think I could have swung it up, focused fast enough to get a picture. At least it makes me feel better to say that. Jackson later found out the president had died and regretted not taking more pictures that day. I was not even thinking at that point about taking any pictures of anybody. I should have, I mean, I, while I was thinking, I should have been shooting some of these faces. It was a mistake he wouldn't make again. Two days later, he was assigned to cover Lee Harvey Oswald's transfer to the county jail. Sunday morning, I went down to the uh, police station about 8.30, walked in, no, no security, nobody checked IDs or anything. Oswald's transfer was delayed and Jackson was told to move on to his next assignment, but he refused. I wanted a picture of this guy because pictures were few and far between, and once he got to the county jail, we might never see him again. Not only did Jackson capture a photo of Oswald, but he caught the exact moment he was shot by Jack Ruby. And it was quick, and Ruby fired, and I punched the button fortunately, at the right time. Jackson knew he had a good picture, but he didn't know exactly how good it was. Somebody said, did you get it? Did you get it? 50 years later, he still got it. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, but this one might be worth a million. I don't think any of us were aware at the time that we were going to be talking about this like it was yesterday, 50 years from now, uh, because it does seem like just the other day to me.